Hey guys, SmartAllocate125 here. It's January 24th, 2010, and I am here with an application for Mac or PC. It just recently came out for Mac, but it's been on PC for quite a while, called BumpTop, which is basically a desktop modifier that makes uh, your desktop more organized and looks cooler and adds a 3D element to it. So let me launch up the application here. Um, it actually will just show in my menu bar and not my dock, and I'm assuming that's the same for Windows, meaning that it won't be in your actual taskbar, but it'll be in that little right, uh, bottom right quarter, corner kind of thing. So here it is. Here's bump top. It actually changes your background, as you can see, but you can go ahead into the preferences and change it. And but what it does is it allows for a 3D effect. So here is the floor, I guess you could call it, and then here is the wall and the other two walls. I have my notes up here and my main hard drives and stuff over here. Here's my regular one, my external, and my uh, Windows partition. You can make these bigger or smaller to your liking, move them around. You can make these notes uh, bigger or smaller as well. And another thing you, you can do is you can change where the notes are, and you can see that it actually changes what it looks like. Put it on that wall, put it on that wall, and uh, it's quite nice looking. I think they did a really good job doing this. Um, it looks really professional. Another thing is when you actually select something, you kind of get a circle effect rather than the normal square or rectangle, whatever you want to call it. Um, you can also say I have a bunch of pictures. I'll bring up my pictures and uh, throw a few on there. So here's a few of my logos that I've created in Photoshop. If I put them all on here, it'll actually make look like this. Um, oh, I forgot about this one. This one looks pretty cool. Might change to it. Um, anyway, so and then what I can do is actually clean them up. So make them like that or make a pile of them. And now they're all in this one pile. I can name the pile whatever I want, um, but it's unnecessary. I can break the pile. I can uh, make the pile bigger, smaller, whatever I need, and it's a very nice looking. And uh, I'll put those back in the folder. But so there it is. Uh, if you want to just uh, change it around a little bit, it you can set it so that it logs in at the beginning. Uh, and you can make it automatically check for updates, blah, blah, blah. Backgrounds, you can change the background of any of the four um, actual walls. And you can make all the w them exactly the same like that if you want. But I like to only have this one be it. Or you could change them individually. You just select one and then you select the picture that you want for that wall. So that is my little tip on how to customize your desktop better. 3D effect, bump top. Um, there is a free version and a paid version. But I'm fine with the free version. It works out quite nice for me and I have no need for the extra features. So the link is in the description for those who want to download it. Mac or PC, remember. Uh, for exclusive content, be sure to follow me on Twitter. And thank you guys for watching.